In New Mexico, a family is running through the desert with a smuggler that takes out his gun and demands to be paid for taking them to the border. Suddenly they see a figure in the distance and assume is the border patrol, however the soldier runs down the hill in seconds and jumps on the man to feed on him. This started two days ago in a military base also in New Mexico. Dr. Snowman is doing some experiments on pigs when he's suddenly interrupted by Commander Murdoch, who reminds him an important visit is coming so they need results soon. Meanwhile in a prison in Mexico, prisoner Alonzo is surprised with a song and a cake to celebrate his birthday but also to say goodbye to him since he's being extradited. After offering a speech, he notices there's a new guard and goes to chat with him, offering a drink and teasing him because he can tell he's a former soldier, which is suspicious. Outside, reporter Lilia is covering Alonzo's extradition, explaining that he is Mexico's most dangerous dealer. He was captured four years ago while he was dining in a fancy restaurant, and it's said he's still been running his business from prison not to lose against the rival cartel known as the Apostles. His wife died of a rare disease and nothing is known about their only child. Alonzo has been to this specific prison because nobody has ever escaped from it. In the bathroom, agents Baserial and Cruz begin getting frisky even if they know they'll be fired if someone sees them. Afterward, they go back to their team, where Baserial reminds them they'll be transporting a very dangerous criminal. At the same time, two agents from the DEA in Texas also get ready to pick up Alonzo. Meanwhile in Paradise Rehab Center in New Mexico, Dr. Henry is explaining to a patient that renovations will last many months and that's why they're emptying the premises. At that moment he gets a call from his cousin Alonzo, who plays the radio loudly so the cops won't suspect anything. Henry promises he has room for him ready, and Alonzo informs him he's starting his vacation today. Sometime later, a senator arrives at the base and meets with Snowman, who explains his experiments, he's been using insects' ability to feel no pain to develop a serum that would make super soldiers. To demonstrate, he injects the serum into a pig, but the little guy just pukes and dies. The senator is furious at Murdoch for wasting her time and tells him they only have a week to show results or the program will be over. After she leaves, Murdoch yells at Snowman, telling him to solve this or he'll be blacklisted. Sometime later, Snowman injects another pig that quickly passes out. Sergeant Valencia thinks it's still alive, but Murdoch grabs it and throws it away before ordering her to take all the dead animals away. After he leaves, Snowman picks up the pig and separates it from the others to inject it with a double dose. Later in the middle of the desert, Valencia is getting rid of all the dead pigs and is pleasantly surprised to discover one of them is still alive, so she sets it free. Back to Lilia, she's putting on a disguise, taking with her a camera and a toy gun. Then she goes to the prison and while she's waiting in the visitor line, she slips the toy gun into another visitor's bag before yelling that the guy is armed. While everyone panics and the cops react, she steals a visitor's pass and gets inside without losing the camera. Lilia follows the other women into the conjugal visitor's area while various guards all over the prison get a message saying it's time and director Contreras turns off all the security cameras. The new guard enters the cell and shoots at the bed, but it's only a ball, Alonzo had been expecting this and attacks him from behind. A fight ensues and after exchanging a bunch of hits, Alonzo overpowers the guard and kills him with his own gun. Then he escapes through a hole he's been hiding under the toilet, so when the special agents arrive at the cell, they only find the guard's body. Lilia takes out her camera with the intention of interviewing Alonzo, but instead she gets to film how the prison raises the alarm over escaped prisoner. Underground, Alonzo meets with one of his gang members and together they escape on bikes. In the desert, a starving stray dog approaches a dead pig to feed on it, but suddenly the pig opens its freaky eyes. At that moment, all the other pigs show up looking freaky too and jump on the dog to violently feed on it. After they're done eating, they smell another potential victim and run into a drainage tunnel. In the prison, Baserial asks Contreras about the new guard, but he pretends he knows nothing. Then Baserial realizes the toilet looks suspiciously clean and moves it to discover the secret tunnel, so he announces this is his case now and threatens Contreras, telling him not to allow anyone to follow his team. All this is recorded by Lilia, but the guards find her and take the camera away. Contreras wants to arrest her, but she points out that will put her on the news and therefore he'll be viral too, so they let her go. While Baserial and his team begin searching the tunnel, the DEA learns about the escape through the news and gets moving to join the hunt. Later Alonzo meets up with his old gang, telling them that the guard that tried to kill them probably was sent by the apostles. Then he reunites with his son Lucas, who refuses to hug and reminds his dad that he abandoned him. Once the gang has installed explosives in the room, they go away, so by the time Baserial's team arrives the place is empty. As they look around, the explosives activate and blow up the room, which immediately crumbles. Seconds later they wake up and confirm everyone is alive, although there are a few injuries. At that moment, the pigs arrive and jump on the agents, who immediately open fire. The pigs reach them anyway and begin feeding on the soldiers, whose bodies slowly die but also begin to look freaky like the pigs. Back in the lab, Snowman mixes the serum with his recreational powder and injects the pig, but this one also dies. However after Snowman leaves the room, the pig suddenly wakes up and begins acting crazy, shaking the cage until it opens so it can escape. 
Then it jumps inside the other cages and begins killing the other pigs. Snowman comes back and as soon as he sees the carnage, he rushes to bring Murdoch and announces success. He knows he must make adjustments to the serum to get rid of the cannibalism and he asks for the pigs that were thrown away because he's sure they aren't dead after all. Outside the prison, Lilia continues to cover the escape news and sends a message to Alonzo, saying she's open to hearing his truth. Meanwhile Alonzo and the gang go through a tunnel, and Lucas gets angry when his dad refuses to teach him how to shoot a gun. Eventually they find a set of stairs and come out through a hole that takes them to the rehab center on the American side, where Henry will allow them to hide. He's even prepared a room for Lucas, but he isn't happy. They got his age wrong and the room is too childish for him, he also hates being in the middle of nowhere with a bunch of old men. He wants to go back to his old school and play with his friends. Moments later, the unconscious soldiers underground wake up, revealing they're now zombies. They're still capable of saying a few words, so they repeat Alonzo's name as they dig their way out of the tunnel and begin running through the desert to find him. When they come across a gate, they use their newly gained strength to bend the metal bars and keep going. When they find a snake, they just kill it and feed on it. Nearby, Snowman and Valencia come looking for the pigs and find the dog's body. At that moment a growling pig comes back from the tunnel with a bloody face and Valencia wants to shoot it, but Snowman stops her. They slowly approach the animal who suddenly jumps to attack, but luckily Valencia catches it just in time. Later in the evening, the Secretary of State talks with the press and Lilia asks about the rumors of Alonzo having had inside help. If it's true, the Secretary promises consequences. Contreras sees this on TV and gets nervous, then he gets a call from the Prophet from the Apostles, telling him he has 48 hours to fix his mistake. The next day, Lucas lies to Dog and says his dad is okay with him learning to shoot, so Dog teaches him. Alonzo finds out about this and decides to allow it, even congratulating Lucas for his good aim. Afterward, Alonzo orders his men to always be ready for a possible attack because he's sure that the Apostles will try again and even suspects there's a traitor among them. Meanwhile in a prison in Texas, a prisoner known as El Romeo complains about the food and insults the guard, but before things can escalate, another guard announces Romeo has a visit. It's Joel of the DEA, who knows that Romeo used to be best friends with Alonzo and it's his fault that Romeo is in jail. Joel almost caught Alonzo once but lost him, so now he's so desperate to win the hunt that he offers Romeo a deal, freedom in exchange for helping him find Alonzo. Romeo agrees as long as he's the one that gets to kill Alonzo in the end. Later they're about to cross the border while Romeo shares some anecdotes of his old adventures with Alonzo. Learning about his habits, Joel realizes Alonzo must be in the USA, not in Mexico, and he turns his truck around. In the afternoon, Lilia is taken to see Contreras, who offers her 2 million pesos to help him find Alonzo. At first Lilia refuses, but then Contreras threatens to ruin her reputation and arrest her, so Lilia accepts as long as she gets exclusive coverage of the extradition. They shake on it and Contreras tries to kiss her, but Lilia quickly goes away. Seconds later, a mysterious car begins following her. Lilia notices and decides to enter a pool to ditch the car and try to sneak away by entering the female changing room. The guy follows her inside and shows his badge, but a woman calls him out and tells him to leave. In the base, Valencia is bringing back the zombie pig in a cage, and another soldier approaches it for a closer look. Ignoring Valencia's warning, the soldier puts his finger inside the cage and the pig bites him. Valencia takes him to Snowman, who asks her and his assistant to tie him to a table without touching the wound. The infected soldier shakes for a while until he dies, but in only a few seconds, he wakes up as a zombie. Meanwhile Alonzo and his group watch another video from Lilia asking for an interview during which she guarantees his safety. Lucas says he believes her, so Alonzo calls Lilia and tells her he'll do it. Afterward, Alonzo brings Lucas a big surprise, his very own drone. Lucas loves it even if his dad forgot he gifted him one in the past, and he promises not to let the drone cross the fence. However Lucas sits at the fence and ends up sending the drone out anyway. After a few minutes, he loses signal so he leaves the center to find the drone, and when he's close enough to regain image, Lucas sees the zombified soldiers running around. Speaking of the zombies, they've found the group from the beginning and are jumping on each member to kill and feed. When Cruz approaches the pregnant woman, she hesitates and gently touches her belly, only to suddenly kill her as well. At the same time, Noballs also leaves the center to release a messenger bird, but Alonzo finds him red-handed and shoots him, killing the bird in the process. Then Alonzo picks up the message and confirms Noballs has been working for the Apostles. Terrified, Noballs begins running away and Alonzo follows him as he continues to shoot, but eventually loses him. The gang hears the shooting and arrives to help, telling Alonzo to let them go after Noballs so he can go back to his son. Meanwhile Dog realizes Lucas is gone and goes looking for him. When Alonzo returns, he finds the house empty, so he uses binoculars to find Dog and go after him. Lucas sees the transformed smuggler and talks to him from afar but when he realizes the guy is creepy, Lucas throws a rock at him. This only makes the zombie mad and he begins chasing after the boy, but right before he can catch him, the smuggler gets shot by Dog. Alonzo hears the shots and runs in that direction while Dog checks on Lucas, but the zombie recovers from the shot and attacks Dog. 
a fierce fight begins between both man and dog gets bitten, so Lucas tries to distract the zombie with a big rock. As soon as the smuggler turns on him, dog uses the chance to end him with his knife. Then dog tells Lucas to run away so he won't see him transform. The gang finds Noballs hiding among the trees and opens fire, but Noballs is fast enough to run and lose them. Eventually he makes it back to the center and tries to escape by going down the tunnel. A gang member follows him there, but Noballs hears him and hides to attack him by surprise. After some struggle, Noballs kills the guy and keeps going. Minutes later, he comes across the soldiers and opens fire, but he fails the shots and the zombies get to him anyway. Back to Alonzo, he finally reunites with his son, who drags him to see Dog. They think the man is dead, so Lucas approaches him to close his eyes, only for Dog to wake up and attack. Luckily Alonzo reacts fast and kills him with a few shots, calling him a traitor. A crying Lucas corrects him, explaining to his dad what really happened, but Alonzo doesn't believe him. Then they reunite with the gang and go home, unaware that Cruz is watching from afar. In the lab, Snowman studies the bitten soldier, who is having a nightmare about his body floating and transforming while surrounded by crazy pigs. As his body starts shaking again, Snowman injects him with a different serum to stabilize him, showing excitement over the fact he's finally getting a perfect soldier. Valencia doesn't approve, and after the two of them leave, the soldier reveals to have red eyes. Meanwhile Joel stops the car so Romeo can relieve himself, but he also takes out his gun to threaten Romeo, reminding him of their deal. Romeo gets sassy, so Joel hits him and pushes him against his truck until Romeo tells him all about Henry and they agree to go to his place. At the international airport in Mexico, Lilia arrives dressed as a nun, but Contreras and his partner can tell it's her. When she's alone, Contreras captures her and reminds her not to mess with him or he'll make her disappear, he also touches her inappropriately. After he lets her go, Lilia tells the guards that a man is bothering him and the guards kick Contreras out, but his partner is still around. Sometime later at the lab, Snowman brings Murdoch over for a demonstration. He gives the soldier an order to move his fingers, and when the soldier ignores him, Snowman gives him an electroshock that makes him obey. Then Snowman wants to demonstrate the new strength so he gives the soldier a tennis ball to destroy. The soldier breaks the ball but also the table, going crazy as he hits Murdoch before Valencia puts him down with a shot. An ungrateful Snowman freaks out because that's the only human specimen he had, so he asks them to bring him another one, pointing out that the pigs probably have made a bunch by now. At the rehab center, Alonzo starts feeling a lot of pain and it's revealed that he got hurt when Dog attacked. While his men take care of the wound, Lucas makes a drawing of the zombie that attacked Dog, explaining he saw more of these monsters on his drone screen. Alonzo orders his men to go and capture the people Lucas saw, thinking they're spies. Later in Texas, Lilia arrives and Henry comes to pick her up. He takes her phone and covers her eyes before taking off, but when they reach the road, he stops the car and grabs his gun. It turns out Contreras' partner has been following them all along, so Henry has a plan. Lilia lays down in the middle of the road and pretends to be unconscious, so when the cop stops his car, Henry suddenly appears and hits it with his own vehicle. Then he drags the cop out of the car and kills him, which terrifies Lilia. In the desert, Cruz has formed her own horde by gathering the transformed immigrants, and her group confronts base aerials. Cruz attacks him and starts biting him, but flashbacks of their bathroom thirst take over their minds as they fall to the ground and end up enjoying the struggle. In the evening, Lucas is watching over a sleeping Alonzo when he hears howling outside. He looks out the window and sees a mysterious figure, so he takes Alonzo's gun and goes outside to shoot, only to discover the figure is a zombified dog. Lucas runs back inside, but having seen the kid is enough to bring back his memories of being a caretaker. Not wanting to hurt Lucas, Dog decides to self-delete. Meanwhile two gang members continue their search for the so-called monsters and hear a noise, but they can't find anything on the road and leave. It turns out it's a zombie calling for his friends to let them know they have a clue of where to find Alonzo. At the base, Murdoch reminds Valencia this mission doesn't exist and nobody should know about it. Then Valencia leaves with two more soldiers to start the zombie hunt. When they make it to the desert, they see three people walking around and go after them on foot assuming they're zombies, but they actually are illegal immigrants that start running because they think the border police is after them. The soldiers return to the truck and try to chase them, but they end up hitting something instead. The thing turns out to be a zombie that immediately attacks. Valencia manages to save herself, but her partners both get bitten, so she returns to the truck alone to get away. In the meantime, Joel abuses his power to rent a helicopter and makes the clerk ignore the fact Romeo can fly but has no license. They still aren't allowed to leave at this hour though, so they hang out in the waiting room and Romeo has a flashback from four years ago. Romeo and Alonzo had been hiding in a motel, and while Romeo was distracted with his powder, Alonzo headed out and made a deal with the police. Soon the cops came to arrest Romeo, and as the memory fades out, Romeo realizes one of those cops had been Joel. Furious, Romeo wants to kill Joel, but the cop just reminds him they need to work together to get Alonzo. Out on the road, Henry and Lilia get stuck because the car breaks down. Lilia insists they should use her phone, but Henry refuses and announces they'll be walking. 
Suddenly a car passes by and stops when the driver, who is a priest, sees Lilia, and thinking she's an actual nun he offers them a ride. Back to Snowman, he performs an autopsy of the dead zombie and discovers the soldier grew a second heart. Excited over a potential Nobel, he takes pictures of everything. The next morning, the hunting gang members stop the car to check something on the road and suddenly find themselves surrounded by a random zombie and dog, who is still alive. A fight starts and a guy quickly gets bitten, so his friend kills the zombie before fighting dog. After some struggle, he manages to tie dog up and throws him in the truck to bring him to the center, where Alonzo is looking through Lucas' drawings of all the zombies. Alonzo comes out and sees dog's body shaking even though he's missing part of his head, and they assume this was caused by the apostle's new product. When dog tries to bite him, Alonzo gets him to stop by pressing his brain, but Lucas comes out and asks his dad to stop hurting dog because he's still a good guy under all the growling. Alonzo doesn't believe it and asks his men to put dog with the horses. In the desert, the bitten gang member wakes up as a zombie and is found by the soldiers, who get him to guide them to the rehab center. Meanwhile at the lab, Valencia reports everything she saw. Murdoch can't believe the zombies killed trained soldiers and decides it's time to exterminate them all. Snowman protests and asks to keep at least one, threatening Murdoch with ending his career, but Murdoch isn't afraid of him. Back at the center, Lucas tries to communicate with Dog, but the zombie doesn't understand him and tries to attack. Lucas runs away just in time and goes to see Alonzo to try to convince him that Dog isn't an animal and that he's suffering, so Alonzo says maybe killing him would be the kind thing to do. This makes Lucas wonder if Alonzo also killed his mom to end her suffering and when Alonzo's silence confirms it, Lucas runs away in tears. Alonzo goes after him and after hearing his son yell in frustration over losing all his loved ones, he gives the boy his own gun so he can protect himself. While the zombie soldiers get closer to the center and Joel and Romeo finally leave in a helicopter, Lilia and Henry are still in the car with the priest, who is drinking too much and makes a pass at Lilia. Henry throws his bottle away and they end up discussing the devil, only to be interrupted when a zombie appears on the road and starts climbing on top of the car. Henry recognizes him as one of the gang members and calls out his name, but the zombie reaches through the driver's window and bites the priest. Lilia fights for control of the wheel and the zombie manages to drag the priest through the window before the car takes off, only to end up crashing in seconds. The zombie continues to fight with the priest and feeds on him. This is seen by the guard at the rehab center, who calls the others for help. Henry manages to leave the car and opens fire, but the zombie jumps on him next. Before a bite happens, Lilia comes through and shoots the zombie down. Then they check on the priest, but he's already dead. At that moment, Alonzo arrives in a car and takes them away. When they return to the center, Henry takes better care of Alonzo's wound while Lucas continues to draw zombies. Lilia wants to know what's going on and once again, Alonzo blames it on the Apostle's new product. However Lucas points out that every monster they've seen so far has been bitten, so it's obviously spreading like rabies. Alonzo shuts him up, and a frustrated Lucas tells his dad he deserves to die before leaving the room. Meanwhile Snowman, Murdoch, and his team arrive at the desert to find the body of one of the soldiers Valencia lost the other night. It turns out he died because of a stray bullet and isn't infected, so the body is useless for Snowman. The soldiers search the area and notice an abandoned car nearby, so they go after it. Back to Lucas, he retrieves two old walkie-talkies from his bedroom and takes them to Dog, talking about how they used to play together with them. He throws one and Dog picks it up as memories take over his mind, but he suddenly destroys the toy and begins struggling against the chain. When Dog finally frees himself, Lucas has no choice but to shoot him before having a breakdown. Alonzo hears the shots and rushes to comfort his son, only for the moment to be interrupted by the arrival of the helicopter. When they are about to land, the duo sees Baserial, who picks up a huge rock and throws it at the helicopter until it starts falling and crashes. Then the zombie horde roars at the sky and runs toward the center, where Baserial actually gives strategic orders for their attack. As the zombies jump over the wall, the gang members come out and open fire, having a hard time killing them because they don't know where to shoot. The helicopter smoke and the shots are noticed by Murdoch's group, who start making their way to the center. Romeo and Joel are fine and get off the helicopter only to come across three zombies as well, so they open fire. They quickly kill the priest and a soldier, but the gang member runs away. A zombie manages to dodge the guards to sneak into the house, so Henry, Alonzo, Lilia, and Lucas run to hide deeper inside. Lilia reveals she has a second hidden phone and begins recording while the monster soldier checks Lucas' room. Hidden behind the teddy bear collection is Alonzo, who tries to shoot her. However the zombie sees him and pulls him out to smack him against the wall. Alonzo gets her to drop him by shooting her again and the two of them fall through the glass door as Lucas comes out of hiding and shoots as well. When another zombie comes after him, he has no choice but to run and leave his dad behind. He tries hiding under the table but the zombie sees him anyway, luckily Lilia finds them and manages to kill the zombie with precise shots. Then Lucas takes a closer look at the body and realizes the zombies have two hearts like insects, so Lilia takes a few pictures. At that moment Alonzo joins them and after scolding Lilia for recording everything, he takes them away. Henry is also fighting a zombie, 
and after a few shots, he covers the zombie with liquid smoke and sets him on fire, then hits him with a chair to push him off the wall. Zombified Noballs fights against his old friends as memories keep overwhelming his mind but that doesn't stop him from killing anyway. Cruz and Baseriel are hunting together like a happy couple while another soldier also enters the house and fights a gang member that leaves a grenade before hiding in the bathroom. The zombie just throws the grenade away before going after the man, only to leave without doing anything when Baseriel calls him to join them. Alonzo, Lilia, and Lucas try to escape through the back door only to find another zombie. Alonzo's shots fail and a fight ensues, but Lilia shoots the zombie properly and gives Alonzo an opening to kill him. Lucas takes a closer look at this one too and points out that their weak spot is the cerebellum, not the brain. The trio then goes back inside. Soon Joel and Romeo also enter the house and split to cover more ground. Joel ignores the body of a zombie and steals a wine bottle instead, then suddenly he hears Alonzo and the others so he bursts into the room. Alonzo takes out his gun but he can't shoot because Lucas is running to hug Romeo, and before they can say anything, Joel also comes in with a zombie behind him. Everyone shoots together and ends the zombie in minutes, but now the three men are stuck in a Mexican standoff, so they agree on a truce for the time being. While Baseriel and Cruz continue to sneak around, Murdoch's trucks break through the front gate and the soldiers begin advancing toward the house with Snowman reminding them he needs at least one living body. A zombie soldier shows up but ignores orders, so Valencia and her team open fire while ignoring Snowman's protests. Then Murdoch uses a megaphone to try to communicate with people inside, which makes Baseriel and Cruz hesitate with some smoke bombs in hand. Inside, Henry and the only remaining gang member join Alonzo's group. This guy confesses to being the mole sent by the apostles, but Alonzo decides not to kill him because leaving him for the zombies would be a worse punishment. While Alonzo's group tries to approach the exit, Cruz and Baseriel throw a weapon through the front door and come out with their arms up as a sign of surrender, with their horde doing the same thing behind them. The soldiers surround them and Valencia communicates with them, learning they want Alonzo. This is overheard by him and he decides to take the group through a different exit, but Alonzo doesn't let Joel come with them. While the group escapes through the back door, Joel goes back to the Apostle's mole to make a deal. Outside, Baseriel shows he can speak pretty well. He says they aren't animals and they aren't dead, then he gives a signal and the whole horde activates their smoke bombs. The soldiers open fire blindly, but Snowman reminds them not to hurt them and the zombies run away to the hills. Meanwhile Alonzo takes his group to the guard's post where it's revealed there's one more gang member left, and together they remove the tunnel lid so they can escape. The entire group goes down and the last one is Alonzo, who suddenly is jumped on by a zombie that bites his arm. Alonzo shoots him to get it off him then goes down the tunnel too, closing it behind him. He hides the injury from the others and they hurry to make their way back to Mexico, unaware that there are pigs still in the tunnel waiting for them. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.